20 seconds to hit the subscribe button. One, two, three. If you are already subscribed, thank you very much. Figures of action here, and this evening we are going to take a look at something that I got from Loot Crate. I had seen online, and I don't remember where now, if it was Instagram or Twitter or where it started. A few weeks ago, Loot Crate was selling some of their exclusive action figures and collectibles for $5. So I ordered one, and they sent it to me in this super cool box. I'll show you what the box looks like when it opens up, if I can do it without knocking anything over. Looks actually really, really nice. Looks like a little locker. It does. And I thought that that was pretty cool. I just wanted to show, and I got the box in the mail on Halloween, and it's black and orange. Wait, what if like, you went to school and you brought up like, something and you thought Pokemon was like, hey, I have a mini locker, I want something out of it, and then you like pop it open, and they're like, here, have it close. I just thought it was a cool box. What was in the box was even cooler. I got the Predator Jungle Demon action figure from Loot Crate for $5, plus $5 shipping. So really, oh, yeah. it, it was $10, but yeah. $10 worth of awesome NECA first oh. appearance Predator. In the first Predator movie, the first time they see him, it's this guy. It's not any of the ones they made later, it's this guy. And this guy has the oh, newer, updated articulation. This is a Loot Crate box. It's got a Loot Crate sticker on the box. The Jungle Demon Predator was released later in the year by NECA in their series that had um, four Dutch and a three Predator. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I used to have a lot of NECA. I used to have a lot of Predators. I used to have a lot of aliens or Xenomorphs and we sold them. they were hard to keep up with and I got frustrated with collecting them between exclusives and not being able to find the ones that I was looking for when they were coming out, missing out on pre-order, stuff selling out. I got frustrated and I just said screw it. That and trying to keep up with multiple toy lines because I keep up with Marvel Legends but trying to keep up with Marvel Legends and trying to keep up with all the aliens and the predators something had to give and it was the aliens and predators yeah. so I got rid of all of them but then Loot Crate had this for five dollars so I had to get it so if you're gonna have one predator in your collection it, it, it has to be that one it was it turned for me it's the first appearance one so I, I was happy to get it. Well, uh, take a closer look at this guy. So he's molded in clear plastic and then painted green, brown, and in some places yellow over it. So he does look kind of uh, jungle camouflaged with the glowing eyes. It's yellow paint, but it gives the uh, yeah, effect of it gives the effect of glowing eyes. It was really loud. It was. So, yeah, amazing figure. He does have the new updated articulation that NECA was using the last time I collected uh, Predators. I think uh, the one of the last series that I got was that uh, Kenner Wave that had Ghost and Spike Tail and Wait, Stalker. So I, he has he has a very similar, if not the same, articulation to those guys. I just noticed something about this vendor. What? So it looks like his head opens up, and then you can put like accessories in there. That, 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 it doesn't. It, it looks it's like it does. Clear. It's clear, and then it's got paint on the front. Yeah. But it's a it's a clear predator, and they painted some. Some green over him, so he looks like uh, that first appearance when they, in the first movie they see him up in the tree or in the bushes or something, and you can't really see exactly what he looks like because he's mostly clear. But he kind of move, he moves a little bit, or they see his eyes, or he shoots at him, or 
or something. I forgot now. It's been a long time. But the figure looks amazing. Um, he came with one accessory. Which is that? The yeah. plasma caster that's also clear and then green, different shades of green on there. And it's articulated like the other plasma casters that come with the other predators. It's not big like the AVP ones. It's as smaller as the first one. So. And all the details that you would normally see on this stuff are present. It's like they use the same mold, but they did it in clear plastic. And it's not gummy soft plastic like you see with some other action figures sometimes when they are clear. is hard plastic. It does not feel brittle it just feels solid so pretty pretty freaking cool um it's got the extendable wrist blades not removable or interchangeable but they extend and i don't think that Wait, either just, one of these I just know something flip else. up i just know something else so like when i first saw that part it's like is that a necklace yeah, no, it's like, I with had... the trophies. Oh, it does flip up. <laughs> Can I get it? I hadn't been able to open it before. No, I tried. No, 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 no. Get, this. No, you might, you might break it, no. I'm not going to break the $5 Predator. I'm just trying to open That looks like this. it has, like, crystals on it. Those little bone see. trophies. Yeah. It does open, doesn't it? I hope you don't break it. No, it opens. Only a tiny bit. It does open. It's just really stiff. Uh, there it goes. I think the paint had it stuck closed. I don't think I... I don't think I broke it. So he's got the, the display there as well. Very, very okay. cool. He's got the double hinged elbows, the bicep swivel, the ball jointed uh, shoulders. He's got the uh, ball peg neck. So he's got a good, oh, getting back here in the camera. He's got a good range of motion with the head. He's got the diaphragm joint and a waist joint, which isn't just a swivel. It actually moves a little bit side to side. He's got the, uh, the uh, ball pegged hips. It does have an upper thigh swivel. It's up here, way, way up here at the uh, at the hip. Double jointed knees. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I can almost get the second one. Yeah, there we go. And he's got the ankle pivot. So. Oh, what well, people I'm wearing that. I'll try that. So I can figure. Oh, you want to see if 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 he can balance? Yeah. Mega figures are heavy, and I don't think we're going to be able to get, like, Marvel Legends balance out of them. But if he was running, oh, that's what he'd look like. Oh up on gosh. one leg. Oh, my gosh. He's actually standing on one leg. How about that? Yeah. He, did, he did stand on yeah. one leg. Even cooler than before. Even cooler than before. Just blew my mind. Yeah. So, we will take a look at how tall this guy is and oh, yeah. wrap this up. Mm. You want to hold the ruler or the predator? Um, can you hold the ruler and I'll measure? Uh, let's see. Wait, let's put, you know what? I bet yeah. if we put it up against the box, he'll hold oh, it. Sorry, sorry. Can you reach over there? Um, about in the middle, close to... Yeah, it's hey. a, yeah hey. close to James. Almost eight inches tall. Maybe if he stood up a little straighter, he'd be closer to eight. But he looks like he's just under eight inches tall. So pretty, pretty awesome. Do you have anything that you would like to add? Subscribe, comment, and wait. I forgot all the words. That's right. He. Okay, subscribe, like, and comment below. Sorry about that, guys. I just forget. Uh, we haven't, I, I haven't really done a video of one pop thing in a long time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. And also, blow up the subscribe button. 
Tschüss.